Well, greetings, peoples, folks, and space aliens. I am going to be diversifying my account a little bit with some reviews, reviews on a lot of different things. And the pinnacle of them is the Pivot. I've ridden that for, uh, I guess, three plus years. This is a 2018. I bought it brand new. I'm thinking about upgrading at some point in time as well. But I did do an upgrade yesterday after I got done with my ride. I've been riding like crazy, and I getting most of the way through my fall riding but I realized that I needed to upgrade something that I probably should have upgraded a while ago what did I get well it's not my bike or anything on my bike I got one of these it's a fox full face helmet and I'm going to test drive it today um, and switch out some of the pads and stuff and just see if I can get it to hanging on my bike. It's got a magnetic thing clip, which is weird. And then these pads here can get changed out, but I'm going to play around with that and ride around a little bit. And then I'm hoping to get down to Hickson State Forest and do some of the advanced trails there. Okay, so basically there's a ton of pads. These are the cheek pads. This is what I'm going to be kind of playing around with. But this is like the top of the head pad, a different one. And this is the back piece that goes in the back, a different one. So I didn't realize it came with all these different pads, but I'm going to be able to customize it out. I'm going to take the super thick and the median thick together and try that first. So here we are, first ride. And I realize right now that it's going to get in interfere with my action cam. Oops. <laughs> so... I had no idea that that was going to happen, but that's something I can kind of figure out. But for these initial rides, it's going to be kind of goofy. Making a lot of creaking noises. I don't know if that's normal or not. So that was a little drop. That's a little bit harder drop. I always want to try to clear the sidewalk, but... One thing I don't like is that I can't access my ear and there's something in my ear that's bothering me. That was a little bit of a... I wasn't sure what was going to go happen there, but... We're going to go downhill and I'm going to see what it's like. You get wind in my face. I don't have any goggles, of course. Something brand new. I've never been up on this bridge before. But I mounted my GoPro upside down. Now I don't have that issue. So I don't know if it'll compensate and actually fix the thing as I'm shooting. I don't know. I'm gonna just do a little test video up here. Uh, that's Barn Bluff right there. This is the new Minnesota Wisconsin bridge. Uh, okay, so now I'm at the Wisconsin Piers. It's actually kind of cool. I mean, yeah, it's actually really kind of cool. Well, we're going to go downhill. Back into downtown. We're going to see what this is like. It's super windy right now, so I'm getting a feel for that. So yeah, it was like extremely windy that day and very noisy being along the highway. So, uh, I just wanted to cover a couple of the issues. The helmet makes some creaking noises and moves around a bit on your head, even with the pads nice and tight. That's actually normal, I've been told, by a few people. So I guess I wasn't that concerned about that. And then mounting my GoPro upside down, my gosh, I should have done that ages ago. That actually helped me out a lot. And I don't have to strap the GoPro in anymore on my Camelback, which also helped me out as well, too. So let's continue with the review. Well, here I am group ride, ride night. I'm not riding with a group. But I got this first trail ride with, <clears throat> the very first trail ride with the whole face. So. <clears throat> I'm still casing that. <clears throat> Slowing way, way down. Way too much down. I never liked that. 
landing. It sucked. This one's so much better. We just float off of it. It's getting rugged. I'm slamming on the brakes right now, guys. Holy crap. Ah! <laughs> Well, I do feel a little bit of sweat coming down in my helmet, and I am probably not going to make it up these ruts. While I didn't get a whole lot of trail riding in this fall, I did get some. And my first immediate issue with the GoPro and the helmet clashing into each other was fixed. I had two other predominant issues. Obviously, sweaty head in the helmet and that pesky strap that kept getting loose and the magnetic thing was... Not as friendly as it could be, but it wasn't until I came to Hickson State Forest on this trail here that I ended up getting more of a review going in my head. What do I think about the helmet? Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm having a little problem with the clip. It keeps coming loose, so I have to tighten tight the strap down every time. This is actually pretty awesome. Please stay on the boundary. I was going to hit that rock, and then I was going to hit the tree. I was talking about my helmet. Oh. <laughs> Back to my helmet. I uh, have liked, not liked the clip. Um, don't like the clip. Ooh, banana boats. You had to stay focused like every three feet or something. Wow. What's it talking about? My helmet? Um, I don't even remember. We'll have to, I'll have to do that conversation later. So basically at this point in time, I was having way too much fun on these trails. And I was very thankful, obviously, to have the full face helmet and feel fully protected on my face while doing crazy trails. Because that's why I bought it, so that I would have additional protection for crazy, rocky, jumpy, flowy, trails like this and that pretty much concludes most of my thoughts wow no i'm not hitting anything here see i feel like I'm... and maybe the helmet was a little bit of a confidence booster because i was able to clear my first 10 foot gap jump as you can see here but overall i'd recommend the helmet for just about everybody i mean why not have two helmets why not have some extra protection? The full face definitely got me out riding a lot more this fall than I was expecting and hitting a lot more fun stuff too. I think it's like... Oh, that's a jump. They got stuff in here. You think they, it's all easy, but no, they got stuff in here. It's like a jump back there. This thing. Oh boy, here I go! Oh, that was actually really easy. Oh, this is some sweet trail. Just a little bit of wow! <laughs> I hit that way wrong. Obviously, the word of the wise here is the helmets don't make you invincible, but it will be a bonus for any adventure you have to be on. I hope this review will encourage and help you decide if full face is for you or not.